It's been a cool bit since you've seen me, and today we're gonna go over a pretty simple tutorial. Uh, I haven't seen anything when it comes down to that. I don't know if you've seen that really cool effect where there's just like some text just simply rotating on a nice axis. It's 3D, does some really cool stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Then I'm gonna show you a little trick when you can add an image from a plane and you get this really cool dynamic video from Pexels and then everything just, it's just like chef's kiss and it'll be dope for the visuals that you'll put on at your show. So let's just step right on in and uh, get started. We're right in here, we're gonna delete everything. The second thing we're gonna do is turn on ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. Head over to edit preferences, run over here within your add-ons make sure you have node wrangler and then the second thing you're going to do is make sure you have in export images as planes so just search up images and you'll get that running and the last thing we'll do here is within animation make sure your default interpolation is set to linear and you'll be good to go all right my friend it's time to start the fun part of this all so let's let's bring in a, a curve by shift a press bring in a circle second thing is let's shift a bring in a piece of text i'm gonna call mine um enter the void and now i'm sure many of you at this point are like i don't want this text i want to bring in a custom font something that i work with for my job what the way you do that is click this a go to font go ahead it doesn't matter which one you bring in if you want you could set it up but i don't want to thunder this is one i'm going to type in the font face that you have installed on your computer i'm going to go ahead and bring in it's my bold okay Let's move our mouse a little bit again and now we're gonna go ahead and go over our text, add modifier, curve, curve object is that Bezier circle. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate our text. So you're gonna press R, X, 90 degrees. And you see right now it's kind of like inside of this uh, area. So you can go ahead and just flip that over. Am I doing 180? You can also see no, let's set it up 180, flip it. So it's on the right angle. Okay. Now uh, you're probably wondering, okay, Micah, this is like stupid small. I need to make this a little bit bigger. The way we do that, since the reason why we spawn them both in without moving anything is we want the origin point to be the same. So go ahead and select both of your objects here and press S and scale it to the size you want. And then what you're gonna do, if you wanna bring in more text, you click that a again right so i'm gonna bring in more text i'm gonna make mine a little bit tinier right about there and then we're just gonna do some copying and pasting so enter the void enter the void enter the void you can see it kind of falls off somewhere around there um then the way you get it to fit is you're gonna play around with this size once again so as you can see at the start everything kind of intersected you can bring it down a little bit there you go and then what you want to do to make the geometry let's make it 3d because we're in a 3d program we didn't come here for after effects kind of thing extrude it a little bit and then you go you get that nice extrusion and then it's looking pretty solid now so the next part is select your Bezier circle in your text. So I went ahead and just click Bezier circle, hold shift, parent it with the text. Now, when you rotate on the Z axis, you got a nice little thing going on. And you can bring it back to zero just to get that perfect rotation. And what I do for the animation here on zero, go ahead and keyframe your Z go to the last frame, I press shift in the right arrow, 
the last frame 360 insert and you'll see now we have that Scarface kind of vibe and now if you come here just for that effect that this is the tutorial after this point you can take it wherever you want you can start fucking around with the rotation and all that stuff but for everyone here that wants to see a little more extra credit i'm gonna show it to you okay so i went ahead and used pexels and pexels is a site where you can look up so i want mountain you can get free video to use and uh, make sure that it's set to videos mountain and you can get a nice video for free and you just download it and you're running what we're going to do essentially now is let's just go ahead and set that up for me so bring in a camera press tilde view camera you want it to kind of yourself a little room press right click and left click vertical split so you can kind of see let's just see what the camera is in here let's go ahead and the images as planes let's bring in our rotating characters that video i just downloaded off pixels bring it up this is not a sponsored video by the way Bring it up a little bit. Make sure it fits. Uh, material preview. And you'll see right now you kind of have something set up. If you want to bring the video back a little bit to sometimes you need to bring the video back a little bit just so it doesn't feel too too crazy. You can adjust our text. Now, right now you see if this is moving a bit too fast for you the best thing you can do is either increase the amount of frames or i believe if you increase the size of it all it'll move a little bit slower in terms of the text but let's just go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and just like kind of tilt my text a little bit just so it gives a bit of this like crazy effect you know just by nine and we're gonna play with some materials here so i want to get a bit more of that simple like gradient kind of stuff so making a color ramp let's go to shading so it's a bit easier to see for you i'm bringing a color ramp connect to the base color Go ahead and the HSL. Let's bring it up a little. Let's bring it up all the way. So far. Make it a little green. And this is a little bit of this. Then let's go ahead and just press Control T. Map that to the factor. Now you get object. Oh, it's a UV actually. You can see we have a bit more of a nice kind of gradient kind of vibe. We'll up the metallic a little bit. Actually, a lot of it. Bring down the roughness. What you can do here too with your text is you can subdivide it and it looks pretty ugly. <laughs> so. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll hold off on that one right now. Let's leave it as is. Let's go back to our layout. Um, the next thing you want to do. So now we have our video. Make sure you pay attention to how many frames it is. 508. What I did. Instead of bringing in an HDRI for my lighting. And an environment texture. Which I guess you can consider this an HDRI. Rotating characters brought my video, right? Give it 508. Auto refresh. And when we look in this at the rendered view, I forgot one thing, my friend, actually. For your video, go ahead and connect it to the emissions. So that's within that plane you want to connect 
this video file with the base color and emissions. And then let's just make sure we know what we're looking at here. Tell me, tell us some depth of field. Let's view this. Any within our color management, let's do a little bit of contrast. And we have a nice cool like animation going on here. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of some sauce to just just clean it up a little bit more. What I like to do once you make sure everything is set up to render. Let's go ahead and just bring that in here. I'm gonna call this my YouTube tutorial rotation before. We have that set up to render. Viewer reroute. I'm going kind of quick on this part because it's not really essential. Let me know in the comments below if you're really vibing with this like extra kind of credit or do you just appreciate the end the end portion? Okay, let's go ahead and click this little like checkerboard kind of thing. Go to clouds, bring the size down, texture, bring in a mix. Put that right in there, color. Select these two, press G, move it a little bit. Let's make sure you save your stuff. Okay. Render this render is still an image just so we can see what we're working with. You're probably gonna want to overlay this. Bring it down a bit in your view. Just pull pull down the zoom a little bit. And just go ahead and we can just move this up here. You just bring that. And that's pretty much it, my friend. So if you want, you could add a little bit more flair to it all. I bring in the lens distortion a little bit, but I think that's all good. And I'm gonna render this and let's recap. Thank you once again for dropping in. You got this. Pretty simple, pretty cool. I say that about all the time, huh? You got this visual kind of thing. I thought of it. Um, I've seen a few tutorials, but nothing that has done it for like these animations or maybe an opening in a concert or something like that. So thank yourself for giving it your all. And honestly, I hope to see you again I got some ideas. I've been just stockpiling away a lot of stuff and I just need to cut out the time for it. So thank you once again. I really appreciate everyone that comes in. I know I'm a really small YouTuber. I know I'm not perfect that blender, but we're trying out here and we're just looking to give away all the secret sauce. So hope to see you again and uh, peace and love.